Animating text like this can be challenging, but this tutorial will help you how to do that. Today, we are going to create this typography animation in After Effects without using any third party plugin. So, let's see how to make this. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and let's begin by creating a new composition. I'm going to call this one main, width and height will be 1920 by 1080, frame rate 30 fps, and duration you can pick whatever you want. Just click on OK. First, let's create our background. So, right click new, let's add a solid, and I'm going to like make it a little bit off white something like that just click on ok so here we have our background now i'm going to lock this so that we don't accidentally move it perfect so we are ready to add our text for that you can select the text tool just click and type your first letter let's type animating and for this one i'm using this montserrat black font but it's completely up to you can pick whatever you want let's make it like little bit dark something around here so here we have the text now I'm going to like align it to the center using the align panel. If you're not able to see it, then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it. Perfect. Now let's select this and I'm going to like move its anchor point to the center. So you can hold on the control key, double click on this. Now here we have this. We can probably like scale this up however we want. Something like that. Yeah, it looks good. Now we are going to animate it. So for that we can like add a keyframe for position like this but first let's select the shape tool because we are going to like create a mask or a shape around this so let's just simply draw a mask that is like completely covering this perfect now we can have a keyframe because this is going to be our final position now in the beginning we can like move it to this side or to the top let's just move it to the top something like that so here you can see we have this animation now i'm going to change its track mat so for that you can like just pick whip and just click on this now if you're not able to see the track mat then you can click over here also if you're using the older versions then you won't have this pick whip or these drop down with layer names instead you will have like alpha mat alpha inverted luma mat in case you can just simply place the shape layer on top of it and after that just change it to alpha mat you can see that it will be only visible when it is inside the shape now we can select the keyframes press f9 let's go to the graph editor now if your graph looks different make sure you're using the speed graph not the value graph i'm going to like change it like this so here we have our text now it's completely up to you, you can play around with its position technically these kind of animation look better with the voiceover or something like that so you can just match it whatever words you are have in the audio clip so for that you can like make it faster if the word is like very fast or you can like make it slower if the word is like coming out like this again it's completely up to you so here we have this and now we are going to like add our second text so i'm going to select both of these layers press ctrl d to du duplicate these now i'm going to type my second text which is text and let's just select this press u now i'm going to like select all of these so let's select this and let's select this and i'm going to like move them down below like this and here you can see we are not able to see it because its track mat is still pointing to this but we can change it to this layer perfect now we can like place it to wherever we want so i'm going to place it to this side like that and in the beginning we can like just simply copy this keyframe and paste it over here and after that we can like move it to this side and make sure that the easing is same for this one as well so now if I press play, you can see we have both of these texts. Now you can like add some delay. Again, you can like sync them with your audio or whatever you have. So I think this looks good. Perfect. Now we are ready to add our next text. For that, we are going to create some 3D text. So I'm going to like make all of these layers 3D. And let's go to layer. Let's add a null object. And I'm going to like make it 3D as well. Now we are going to like place it somewhere in the back. So for that, we can like go to the top view. You can see these are our text layers and this is our null and i'm going to like place it somewhere around here so that we can like animate it easily let's just set this to active camera now we are ready to parent all of these layers to this so just select everything and parent it to this if you're not able to see the parent then you can right click go to columns and just enable it now we can select this and we're going to add keyframe for position let's add keyframe for scale let's add keyframe for rotation and we can add rotation for these two we won't be using z rotation but if you want you can like have z rotation as well let's select this press u now we are ready to like move it to this side so let's just move these keyframes over here and at this point we can like just rotate it along the y-axis something like that now here we are ready to add our next text so for that we can just simply select this and let's press ctrl d 
and I'm going to like move this to the very top and I'm going to like remove this mat and also I'm going to select this press U and let's remove the keyframes as well I'm going to like rotate it let's press R and let's just rotate it by negative 90 degree like that now we can go to the top view something like that and we can like move it to this side so let's just place it to this point and also let's just move it to this side so that it will be like completely side next to this let's go back to our active camera now we can change the text so let's type like now there is one more thing that you can do so you, you can see that right now it is like typing from the center but we can change it to type it from the left side by simply going to paragraph in case you are not able to see the paragraph then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it i am going to like set this to left justify whatever you call it so now i can like simply place it to this side like that let's go to the top view and here you can see we are able to see, like move it so i'm going to like move it just to this side perfect now we can go back to our active camera now you can type your text and let's type like so here we have this now i'm going to like select this pan anchor tool using this you can move the anchor point i'm going to like move it to the top let's just select the selection tool let's just move it to this side and we can like have simple scaling animation to this so let's press s let's add a keyframe and let's just move it to this side and in the beginning i'm going to like set this to zero at this point we can like have it like really big or something like that perfect we can also change its color let's go to character and let's pick a little bit this sort of color perfect now we can play around with it so let's just play around with the timing of it so here we have it now we can like rotate it more like that and just play around with this position so we have keyframe for everything now if you want you can play around with the x rotation as well we can like make it to this side or let's just keep it like this and let's select the keyframe press f9 and we are going to change this graph now i'm going to like always change the graph to something like this so move this endpoint closer and move this endpoint closer so this null object graph will be like something like this for all the keyframes now if I press play you can see we have our first two text and again we can select these press F9 let's go to the graph editor and I'm going to like change it like this and just play around with their timings and let's make it a little bit faster like that now we can probably make it like more of this side perfect now we are ready to add our second text so before we proceed if you enjoy my work and you want to support me then you can check out my patreon page over there you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so make sure to check it out link for that is in the description now let's continue now let's select this press ctrl d and i'm going to type my next text which is this let's double click and let's make it darker like that again we can place it down below so just simply move it down and for this one we can like make it really big something like that perfect so we can like start it over here so we will have this 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 and as soon we are moving over here we can like have keyframes for all of these and i have the keys over here we can like move it to this side now let's add keyframe for these positions as well like that now at some point over this we can like have a little bit of x rotation and just scale it down a little bit and just move it to a little bit up perfect now again we can like go to the graph and we're going to like change it to the exact same graph which we have over here so like these press f9 let's just change it to like this now we can have these and i'm going to like move it like that so if i press play you can see we have this now in the same way you can like keep on adding other text as well now let's select this press ctrl d now i'm going to type our next text which is can be and let's just place it down below something like this now as this is appearing we can again like move our null object so let's just scale it down and let's just move it to this side you can probably like make it over here and it's completely up to you you can like keep on rotating it 
like this and let's copy this keyframe and just paste it over here so that these will be like just like that now again we can go to the graph and let's just change it once again to look like this now sometimes we will have to like do this manually now if i press play here we have our text animation perfect again you can play around with its timing depending upon whatever voiceover you have or if you're just creating it just play it around like this now let's add the other text onto this side so for that we can select this press ctrl d let's press r and i'm going to like set this to zero perfect now we can like move it to this side so let's just move the anchor point using the anchor point we can like move it over here let's select the move anchor point tool because we want it to scale from this side so let's just place it over here perfect now we can change our text like this again we will have to like move it more over there because the text is a little bit lengthy so just place it over here let's move the anchor point to this corner like this perfect now we can like move it to this point so as it is moving at this point we can make it like a little bit smaller and we can like rotate it just place it to this side something like that now again we can go to the graph and we can like change it to the same exact thing now i've changed the graph let's preview it out so here we have our next text as well again you can play around with their timing let's just move its anchor point like a little bit down below so i don't want it to come from this edge we can like place it over here let's just move it a little bit up as well like that again you can like play around with whatever type of look you want let's just place it somewhere around here yeah i think this angle looks good like that now in the same way you can like keep on adding text so if i duplicate this let's we can type whatever we want let's type but let's just place it down and i'm going to like quickly change its color and let's press s let's just scale it down quite a bit like that let's move it to the top a little bit now again we can play around with these and let's just rotate it like that let's move it to the top and like keep it to this angle and let's just put it like that like this again we will have to like go back let's add a scaling keyframe as well let's just make it a little bit bigger now if you want you can like zoom into a particular character as well so for example we can like make it closer to the butt like this now we can go to the graph and let's just change the graph to look exactly like this so now if i press play you can see we have these characters and at last we have this dramatic sort of movement and after this you can continue adding this text and just keep on rotating this null object till you have something that you like so this is how you can create these kind of 3d kinetic typography animation and the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one